Good morning. Happy Wednesday. We're halfway through the week. <clears throat> Excuse me. I hope you guys are all doing well. I've really enjoyed getting to read your essays and I'm super excited that today you're making your body paragraphs. All right. So let's talk about these body paragraphs. Yesterday, you saw a little bit of this. So what this is talking about is we can't just drop our quotes into our paragraphs. That would make no sense. Can't just drop them in and walk away. So yesterday, I taught you that you need to introduce your quote and then you need to also unpack your quote. Something we talked about at school a little bit before we had to leave was called framing our evidence. So it's another way of thinking about those two things you did yesterday. The first step is introducing it and the second step is linking it or unpacking it. Here are some ways that you can introduce your evidence. We talked about some of them yesterday, but here's a few more. So for instance, in the text it says, at the beginning of paragraph, specifically, right? So all of these will make it clear to the reader which part of the text this quote is coming from. You're not just randomly dropping it in there. Then you have to close it up. You can't just kind of leave it hanging. So you'll link it back or you'll unpack it. And this will help bring us back to what you're talking about. So I want to show you an example with one of my quotes. So drop this quote in here. When Paul Revere realized the British were planning to row across the river, he passed along the information to the signaler. Okay, so I'm clearly talking about Paul Revere, Paul Revere being one of the most important people in the American Revolution. But this quote, sure, it's interesting. I'm not sure why yet. So let me think about how I can frame this to fit perfectly into my essay. So I'll introduce it. In chapter 12, the text says, all right, I've started to put my nice pretty frame around it. I know where it came from. Then I'll link it back to my big idea by unpacking. This was important because there were two possible ways that the British could have gone. Paul Revere figured out which way and then quickly passed on the message. All right, so now I can put my nice golden frame around my quote because it makes sense. I set it up with my introduction and then I dropped it in there and then I closed it back up and connected it to my big idea. See how I didn't just put the quote there? I have to put that nice golden frame, this imaginary frame around my evidence. That's one way that we can think about framing our evidence. So today, as you write your body paragraphs, some of you already did this hard work yesterday, so you're just copying into nice clean paragraphs. Some of you have been going ahead, which means that you haven't really been listening to the directions. So I'm going to ask that if you went ahead and already wrote your body paragraphs, that you do it again because you weren't following the directions. It's really important that we follow all of the directions. So here, body paragraph number one. There's that quote I was talking about in there. Body paragraph number two. So that's all you'll be doing today. Body paragraph one and body paragraph two. That means you should not be handing in an introduction or a conclusion. That's jumping ahead. Stay with us. Take your time. Body paragraphs one and two. I can't wait to read them.